Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Amuka here, and I'm back with a special guest, highly requested, Mr. Pumpkin. Yay! I'm back, yo. I'm back, like I never left. Yes. This speech was made for me, if y'all don't know. <laughs> Just FYI, it's mine, baby. Okay, so I had posted on here on YouTube and on Instagram um, for us to do either a story time or a question and answer and you guys said story time so we're gonna tell you guys in this video how we met basically so yep. let's get into it would you join would you join the journey the monkey's journey subscribe do you want to tell your side and then i tell my side or how are we doing this uh all right let me go first, all right? So, hmm, how I met Pumpkin. All right, so it was one, uh, it was a day, uh, I don't really remember the day, but I know it was Danny's birthday, correct? Yeah, mm -hmm. it was Danny's birthday. Danny is my cousin, and um, we had it in Silver Spring. I had a birthday dinner in Silver Spring. And of course, I'm always on time to everything that I go to, but that day I was yeah. really late, you know? I, I came late, and um, I believe it was good that I came late. Because <laughs> when, when uh, I went there to the venue, I think it was a hibachi? Yeah, it was a hibachi place. It was place. a hibachi place. And um, when I got there, there was this empty seat next to this pretty beautiful that's let me tell, let me let me let me say, let me stop you. <laughs> He's forgetting. That's, hey, that's what I remember. You know, guys, we go straight to the point. Girls will, will read chapter one, chapter two, chapter three for you. Okay, you did your introduction part. All right. Okay, guys, here's the actual story. What happened? So he was late, but I'm always late. Unfortunately, I'm always late. But now in this relationship, I feel like I'm always on time. No, I'm always on time. You're always late. We go to church late. <laughs> That's what we're talking hour, about. One hour. Grace. And we go in there what? And they're the same grace. There's a lot. Okay, so here's what happened. My friend Nelson, which is also uh, a cousin of Reggie's, right? Right. <laughs> so my friend Nelson, um, he... Uh, okay, so let's rewind. So Nelson and I went to college together. And Nelson is one of my really good friends. Um, so basically what happened was Nelson, one day I posted on Snapchat like, oh, what's the move, whatever, whatever. Nelson hit me up and he's like, oh, let's go to this, you know, uh, a friend's birthday party of mine. I said, no problem. I go with Nelson, um, but because I was underage, I was not 21, I was trying to look for a way to get a fake like ID, like someone's ID that I look like, but I didn't know um, people like, like that. So anyway, fast forward. We get to the place where the birthday was happening. I did not know anybody. I had met some of the group the day before. So I knew some of the girls, you know, so I wasn't that uncomfortable. So what happened was Nelson introduced me to y'all outside. Everybody always to talk about Rex and Reggie. Hey, Rex. <laughs> Rex and Reggie. Rex and Reggie. Rex and Reggie. And I'm like, who is this Rex and Reggie? Like, I hate people just hyping up people for no reason. Yeah. So I meet Rex and Reggie. I was a hype man every day for every party, every one's party. Never a dull moment, even that day I saw it. So I finally meet Rex and Reggie. Rex was chill. Rex was like, hey. And I was like, so you're Rex, you're Reggie. Then Rex, asked, I can never forget this. Rex asked me, oh, between the both of us, who do you think is older? <laughs> and anyone that asks that is always the older person. So I was like, oh, Rex is older, Reggie's younger. Um, but it's just one year apart, so it's not that big a deal. But that's one thing that stood out in that conversation. And then with Reggie, Reggie was like, oh, yeah, I'm, the, I'm that guy. Yeah. And I'm looking at him like... I've always been that guy, man. Like, which I guy? Mean, I always been that guy, man. So he was like, I'm that guy or whatever. And then after that, like Nelson, so they went ahead and they were talking to their friends. I was kind of just on my own with Nelson. Nelson was starving. So he went across, like anyone that knows the Silver Spring area, like downtown Silver Spring knows there's a hibachi place, there's Nando's, there's a whole bunch of stuff on that like strip area. So he goes to Nando's with our friend Kofi. Um, and then they go get Nando's. And I'm sitting there like by myself and they're like, oh, okay, if your whole party's in, you guys can come to the hibachi, like where you have your reservation. Yeah. 
So I'm trying to save a seat for my friend Nelson that brought me here, you know, so that it won't be awkward. And I had told Nelson ahead of time, Nelson, you are taking me to this place. I don't have money. I don't have money. I don't go out if I don't have money. So and he's like, oh, no, no, no. I got you. I got you. Whatever, whatever. I said, no problem. That's fine. I just want you to know that I was going to pay for my dinner, but I don't have money. You're taking me out. So don't make me look stupid out here. And then this guy, <laughs> he comes over this, my shoulder, this one, I can never forget. And he whispers, like, not whispers, but like kind of talks like low, mellow, and was like, oh, can I be your date for the evening? And I said, <laughs> like, I was, and the worst part was I was embarrassed because I was hey, scrolling. Hey, so you guys, take notes, man. Take <laughs> notes. Be confident. I was scrolling on my phone and I was looking at like old pictures of myself and I was smiling and laugh like I have friends but I didn't have anyone texting me so I'm here like trying to fake like I have friends or people texting me and he says that over my shoulder so I was embarrassed like maybe he saw me looking at my pictures and my Instagram and whatever but I don't think he noticed because he never mentioned anything about it and I'm just like shocked so I'm just like yeah sure you can sit here even though in my brain I'm like that's Nelson's seat Nelson gets into the restaurant with Kofi and they're just looking at me like for by yourself for one second and you're in between two guys so Prince was sitting no no not Prince so it was Prince me it was I think it was Prince Ella me me you yeah that's exactly how it was so Prince was on my uh, Prince was still there Prince is also one of our friends then me Ella then me then you and everything so knees on this side you know I'm here me talking Reggie talking but Reggie was so interesting like I carried this my phone like this and put it face down because you know Reggie was just saying some f funny stuff I was laughing the whole time yeah yeah um I got game man a one uh, don't mess with don't papa and do you know what remember the thing that happened what remember when we were ordering and we ordered like so I had never been to a hibachi place never and the thing is I wouldn't tell people like oh I haven't been here I'll just figure it out but like I felt comfortable with Reggie so I was like, oh, I've never been to Hibachi before, so I don't know what to order. Help me. Remember? I remember. And then uh, you helped me with the order. Like, oh, what do you like? And I was like, oh, I mean, shrimp sounds nice. I think, oh my gosh, if I'm not mistaken, you probably started my love for like Thai food, Hibachi yeah, yeah. and stuff because I never, yeah. I'm so basic. If I like one thing, ask him. If I eat, I can eat the same thing every morning for the rest of my life, every evening for the rest of my life. Like, I don't switch it up. Yep. Even at my old job, when I go to uh, Starbucks, they start making my drink because I never try anything new. Right. But he picked out this order, like just basic but nice. And we got the same thing. But you got it with chicken. I got mine with shrimp. Yeah. And then the, the waitress came and asked us, what do you want to drink? And what did we say? Lemonade. lemonade. We both said lemonade at the same time. And I'm like, you copy me. He's like, I'm copying him. Okay, you can continue the story. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you've said basically everything. I mean, if you leave it to me, I'll just run it up and that'll be it. But you know how when I started ta telling the story, I just jumped straight to the point. You know, yeah. <laughs> she just had to explain every detail. And I like that about her, you know. <laughs> but yeah, um, we that's how we met, you know. I just saw the MCC and asked her to be my date for that night. Mm -hmm. And um, she said, okay in a way that was yeah. like with a question mark who yeah do you think, who do you think you are you know so i had to let her know that i'm that guy i'm here to stay mm -hmm. i'm not um i'm not here to play games you know just i want to prove to you that i'm that guy in a good way you mm -hmm. know? so ever since that night i think after the dinner uh during our dinner we we, we had a nice convo we spoke a lot we exchanged yeah snapchat. we spoke about every yes we exchanged snapchat, snapchat okay let me yeah. butt in here so during the dinner we, like he said we spoke a lot like um you even i even told you about how i just started youtube at the time it was yeah. what um this was like two years into me being on youtube yeah but i wasn't like posting that year because like there was just so much going on um but yeah so i had showed you my youtube page and you're like now nah, this is really good you should really you know focus and do it but then he comes into my life and i'm all happy and stuff and i, I didn't post that whole year <laughs> so but um uh yeah so like yeah we started talking and everything yeah. we exchanged snapchats then he posted a picture of us 
Yeah. On his Snapchat, what was your caption? Uh, my queen. Mm -hmm. I think no, your caption was I should have screenshot it. Yeah. Um, uh, my future wife, wife. or future girlfriend, yeah. something like that. Yeah. And for me, everyone would be like, "Oh my god, oh he knew, love at first sight, blah blah blah." But for me. I was still in some situation, so I was just like, this boy is going to get me in trouble. Someone from my church could see this, because he goes to church, I go to church, even though our churches were different and everything, but I was just like, somebody somewhere will see this, and that's the end of my life. Someone will tell my mom, some auntie somewhere. So I was just like, can you delete that, you know? Mm -hmm. Even, like, like when he asked to be my date, he really asked to be my date. Even after that, um, he walked me to my car with Nelson, and he held my hand. You remember? Yeah. <laughs> he held my hand and what did you say? It fits perfectly. He said it fits perfectly. I'm just looking like, oh my God, someone's gonna see me out here holding a man's hand. I'm just a young girl. <laughs> what am I doing holding somebody's hand at this age? Someone going, all of that. Yeah. But yeah, he was a gentleman. Him and Nelson were like, oh, I'll pay for a dinner. This one's like, I'll pay for a dinner. I'll pay for, you ended up paying for my dinner. Yeah, I had to pay because you know. I have to take charge yeah. from the beginning. The way you start, and I believe that's how we started. Like we started like a, on a friendship mm -hmm. from day one. All laughter. I oh, oh yes. Her, like our Snapchat, hers especially was full of full laughing of laughing emojis. emojis. Yes, yeah. everything was funny. Yeah. I'm, I'm a comedian. Those of you who <laughs> don't know me, I'm a. I, I can make you like, you know. So she was laughing all the time. Mm -hmm. And I was encouraging her to do stuff that she liked. You know, mm -hmm. I don't know if I should say this, but when I met her, she was dating. We were dating someone, correct? Yeah. In a situation. My yeah, in that yeah. situation. And um, she, she's been through a lot. You know, she was going through a lot. So when I met her, I was like, no, nah, you, you, you are too precious to not be valued like that. So I had to make it like my number one priority and I told her that I told her from day one look you are my top top priority I'm gonna make sure yeah. you're happy every single day because you don't deserve what you're going through you have to be I want, I want to bring out the best version of yourself mm -hmm. so I put it I made it a point to do that like every day calling her checking up on her encouraging her let me let me even butt in not every day it's like the phone we only stop talking on the phone to charge our phone i'll be at school do you see my laptop you will see facetime his face is there he goes to work so we had completely opposite schedules when they tell you if someone wants to make time for you and they love you they'll show it to you that is the definition of what he did yeah he's at work right in a situation where you need two hands it's not like oh i'm just sitting at a desk or anything he had like a tough job and stuff yeah and he will be going up stairs downstairs picking up the phone doing all this stuff and he has me like on facetime or he'll put me in his pocket you know even if i'm sleeping i'll wake up and see like this is when he's leaving work he's leaving at 6 a.m and i'll see he's still on the phone yeah you know and the same thing when i wake up and i start getting ready for school he could be sleeping on the phone but he's still like we're still on facetime and yeah. everything so everybody like i'll always have him on my phone i could be gossiping with the girls and he's still on the phone so yeah. you know you know how when you you see you see someone and you know their future is like bright but they're not quite there you know and you want to make sure they reach their full potential that was that's what i saw you know that she has a lot of potential like way more than she re realizes that she does so i was there like they, like if i said i was there i was there you see almost you see me physically Literally. emotionally you know um, my um, mom mentioned it remember i told yeah. you what my mom said she said hmm whoever it is you're hanging out with now just continue to hang out with the person yeah because like reggie brought out a side of me i was already i was born in the church i was born into christianity so it's my religion from jump but back then i was a what, black sheep i was doing stuff you know blocked my mama all social media all those kind of things and but he like i could i was like this man is like my age group and he's confident about being a christian he goes to church he does not care he he's a minister like he uh was in charge of their choir the youth choir at the time and all this stuff choir. he used to take me to 
uh, all these concerts. gospel concerts, and I'm just like, and I was just like, you know what? Me too. Let me start doing something at my church. I used to dance at the church and sing, but like, my heart was not even there. I'm just like, I'm just doing it because I'm gonna have to come to church regardless. So let me do something. At least I know how to do it. Just do it easily. Um, so everyone started seeing the change. Like even in school, like I was in school at the time. I was in college. So even then, like when I started hanging out with you if i'm up all night talking to you they're like oh let's just st-. you wake me up to study yeah. oh my goodness those days he would invent games yeah. that's crazy you invented games so, uh, so i don't fall asleep you i don't know how he's not even in the same room as me but he would get me out of my bed and i'll wake up and go study and then i'll be playing music while studying or writing a paper or something and i remember i told you like i had this test coming up um, I think it was either for chemistry or something and I had studied and I said I'm getting an A on the test right a hundred percent that's why I told him I said I wanted a hundred percent on the test and then I was crying and I told you you asked me what I got and I got 97 mm-hmm. and you were like you you first of all you were like you're crying you got a 97 you wanted an A you still got your A but I was just like because I had put so much in right. and I perfect wanted score. to have a perfect score. I'm like, do those people that have the perfect score, you know, have two heads, blah, 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 and all those stuff. But I wouldn't have been able to get to that point because I was not even trying. I was just like, mm, whatever, just do the bare minimum type thing. Mm. So, like, when someone comes into your life and, like, transforms, like, your life to, you know, push you and all that stuff, it's, like, much better and everything. Yeah, yeah. So... Yeah. And there was never a question of like, hmm, does this guy even really like me? Yeah. <laughs> because he introduced me to his family, like, or he spoke to his family about me way early. And then I was always like, oh, I always put Rex's name in there. So then they're not like, who is this girl that she's like always talking about? Who's this guy that she's always talking about? So I'll be like, oh yeah, Rex and Reggie are coming. So we'll go and then Nelson will be there. So it's fine. So every time I'm saying Rex and Reggie, Rex and Reggie, then I'll slide Nelson inside. So my mom will be like, oh yeah, everything's fine. You can go hang out with Rex and Reggie. Yeah. So she didn't know if it was Rex or if it was Reggie. Who is she talking about? So that was my strategy. Yeah. I remember when I, I came to your house the first time. You invited me over. Yeah. What, what it, was, it was Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yeah, it was Thanksgiving. It was never ranking, but you know, I had to show up and show them. You did not look nervous. at Hello. <laughs> He did not look nervous at all. Yeah, right, he was I not nervous them. at all. <laughs> he <laughs> ate our jollof fries. And I had the video. Oh my gosh. If I can find it, I will insert it. If not, it will live in our memories forever. But I had the video. You're wearing like a orangey, pinky shirt. Mm-hmm. And your jacket on top. And you're dancing, getting jollof fries. I was, I'm so serious. Oh my god. god. I wasn't dancing. I wasn't dancing. The line, the line. I'm telling you the truth. You were doing like this and getting the jollof. I was like, okay, yeah, yeah. And I recorded you. I'm like, hey, Nigeria jollof fries or whatever. So, <laughs> yeah, um, but you know what? Like when I met yeah. when I met her family, the family was amazing. Like lit family. Like I'm yeah. like, oh, they're very lively, you know. <laughs> so I I kind of like blending in. Yes. Really well. Yes. Then, you know. So we cannot have a quiet person Omagu enter is. my family. Yeah, <laughs> the twins, Tina Tommy, her mom, like it was amazing, and mm-hmm. we clicked. Any any game that I bring up, they were all down in. to play. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we had a good time. That was my. It was first fun. Time. It was amazing. I went home smiling. Like the drive back home was like all <laughs> ear to ear smiling. Yeah. And then, yeah. Well, it was it was good. I remember that. So yeah so basically that is how we met thank you danny for having a birthday Birthday. (laughs) so we could um meet um thanks nelson for taking me um but yeah that is the story of how we met a little bonus story because i know sometimes some people ask like how did you know he was the one but like a bonus story is the time (laughs) we had just spoke about this recently the time we said, cause like he mentioned, I was dealing with someone else at the time. And I was just like, me and him, we started as friends, nothing more. We started as friends and became best friends and then progressed like that. But when I started having feelings for him, I was just like, yeah, there's no way I can't be doing this. I don't care if I'm not spoke to that other person for a while, 
but I need to make sure that completely my name and that person's name is not attached anymore. You know, no one's gonna see me and be like, oh, how is this person? Or see him and be like, how is me? So, so uh, what happened was I told him, I'm like, oh, you know, cause I think this is when, after you had told me you had feelings for me and I just was like, oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. But I was like, I called you and I was like, yeah, I can't do this. Like, this is, this is not how mm -hmm. I am mm -hmm. and everything. Let's stop talking. Let's like, he had promised me he's going to be in my life forever and everything. He was like, but if this is what's going to make you happy, you know, I'll just call you every once in a while to check on you. But if you don't want us to be friends, if you don't want us to be anything, then that's fine. And then it was like a Saturday night that I said that Sunday morning, we go to church. I went to my church, Reggie went to his church. So like I said, at this point now, I'm more active in the youth ministry at my church. You know, I go to church. They ask who's going to pray. My face, I'm like, everyone turns and looks at me because every time I'm like, oh, I'll pray. Oh, I'll pray because I hate the thing where we're just standing there waiting for someone to pray. Let's pray and leave and go home, you know. So I'm like, oh, I'll pray. But this time I'm just like, mm. So even the youth pastor is looking at me like, this girl is going through something. Later on, she called me aside and asked, like, I hope it's not a boy that's making you be this way, whatever, whatever, and stuff. And I knew, like, in my heart, I was like, yeah, I can't let this man just go. And I'm not a humble person. Or at that time, I wasn't a humble person. And I talked to God, and I said, God, look, when we get home, I'm going to call Reggie, and I'm just, like, going to tell him how I feel, and, and then we'll figure something out. And I was just like, God, please, like, I don't want to be the one to call him. I pick my phone up and I have his name on my screen, about to click to call him. I'm trying to humble myself and be like, I'm going to call this man first, blah, blah, blah. And who, who starts calling me? Reggie starts calling me. I'm looking at my phone. <laughs> my phone is looking back at me. And I see Reggie's name on the phone. And I'm just like, hello. And I could not even hold it back. Reggie starts telling me, like, you know, like, that he doesn't know if this is gonna work, that you know, we have to be together, or we have to just, he has to be a part of my life. And everything, and I'm like, I couldn't even pray at church, and I start crying. <laughs> I start crying, like, me too, I had a terrible day, da 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 da, da and everything. And, that's, and that day, I decided in my heart, I'm gonna go figure out my situation. Reggie does not deserve to be in the middle of this. I do not, no one deserves to be caught in the middle of anything. So this was even way before he asked me to be his girlfriend. This is just someone wanting to be in my life. So after that, I was just like, yeah, I figured, I prayed and I just was like, I'll figure this situation out for me. And exactly. here we are yeah. years later. So that was uh, uh, almost five, um, this year will be, that will be six years ago. Yeah. So um, yeah, that is the story of how we met, yeah. um, how I knew he was, how did you know I was the one? Oh. I knew you were the one, um, I would say a couple of times, the very first time I spoke to you, uh -huh. for like past one hour, you know, I gathered a lot of information and I knew, I saw something in you that I knew I could be with this girl in the future. <laughs> the next thing that confirmed it for me was we went on a date very first date mm -hmm. you were so shy like you were very 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 shy <laughs> because i just got my braces off y'all i didn't know how to eat in public yet yeah, so i was just like so shy and we were about to eat and i remember you telling me bring your hand and i brought my hand i was like why should i give you my hand uh -huh. and then you were like let's let's pray so and that has never happened to me before ever like pray in public at a public restaurant you know and we confidently pray before our meal and I was like wow like this person could be the one and you know because I needed to grow also mm -hmm. you know so we complement each other in yeah the way and I was very very touched by that you know like I'm gonna do whatever it takes to make sure she's mine and Look at us now. Mm hmm Yeah, I was like, even though at the time, me too, I was still like, I'm going to church every day, but I did not have a personal relationship with God myself. But I was like, mm -hmm. 
I will not be poisoned or killed because of some food at a restaurant. So I must pray over my food every time. But like, who wouldn't knew what my mom taught me? Praying over your food, you know, and all this Nigerian juju that we believe in would help me win this guy. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically our story. That's how we met. That's how we knew we, we were the one for each other. And here we are today, uh, years later. In a whole new state. In a whole new state. Um, yeah. So that is our story. Thank you guys for requesting this, and all of you guys that voted. Like I got a lot of votes, and I People was so surprised. And like <laughs> we haven't reached that I part come yet. To your houses. Uh. And give you some flowers, you know. Oh. <laughs> but subscribe, subscribe. Please good. subscribe, you guys. Um, but yeah, that is our story. Thank you guys so much for watching and joining us, well, joining me every week. Um, so stay tuned for more videos. If you have any suggestions of videos you want to see us do, just let me know down in the comments below. And we'll see you guys next time. Anyway, yeah. I'm your girl, Amuka. And I'm your boy, Old Johnny. <laughs> Stay blessed and not stressed, and I am out. If I can reach. Would you join? Would you join the journey? The journey.